Is this the big breakthrough? Is this proof of life on Saturn's moon Enceladus? Scientists have now made an incredible discovery there. Be sure to stay tuned to hear all about it, and if you like it, I'm galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to display this important topic to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. When we search for extraterrestrial life, we often look deep into the cosmos. With the James Webb Telescope, for example, we analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets light years away, as we have just done in the TRAPPIST-1 system, where the findings so far have been rather sobering. So far, there is no solid evidence for life on these Earth-like planets. But why do we always look so far away? In our solar system numerous places exist that those extraterrestrial life could prosper. This would be theoretically conceivable in the atmosphere of Venus, under the surface of Mars and above all on the icy moons of the gas planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And a very hot, or in that case cold, candidate is Saturn's icy moon Enceladus, or is that pronounced Enceladus? Let me know in the comments what the correct pronunciation is. From my point of view one of the most interesting celestial bodies of the solar system and that for directly several reasons, from the size is almost inconspicuous. With a diameter of 500 kilometers it is only the sixth largest moon of Saturn. When NASA's Cassini spacecraft reached Saturn in March 2004, scientists made a truly astonishing discovery. Originally, they thought that Enceladus was a frozen ball of ice. Like a really frozen snowball that the mean kid at school throws at your head in the playground knowing full well that this is going to really hurt. Okay, maybe that's just my own personal trauma. But Cassini soon discovered water vapor and ice particles protruding from cracks in the moon's surface, and this spectacular find suggested that an ocean existed beneath Enceladus' crust. So one of the very few celestial bodies in our solar system that we know for sure contains liquid water, and in raucous quantities too. But that's not all, what makes Enceladus even more remarkable is its intense geological activity. Those massive fountains observed by Cassini, which incidentally reach breathtaking heights of several 100 kilometers, tell us even more. The observations suggest that Enceladus has geothermal activity in its interior that allows for constant renewal and ejection of material, and that means Enceladus is a living, changing celestial body, not the worst conditions for life, right? Because the existence of liquid water and geothermal activity is pretty much the combo exobiologists are looking for. Many researchers suspect that conditions suitable for microbial life could exist beneath the icy surface of this moon of Saturn. The fact that water vapor, ice particles, and organic compounds have been discovered on Enceladus can really make us optimistic that this celestial body could harbor environments conducive to life. But before some of you get all excited, we're probably only talking about microbial life here, if at all, and probably not alien fish like in Star Wars Episode 1. And now there's a new, really sensational discovery regarding the possibility of alien life forms on Enceladus. When Enceladus ejects particles from its ice volcano, it can really fly immensely far into space. The Cassini spacecraft has flown through these particle clouds and an international research group, led by Professor Frank Postberg of the University of Berlin, has analyzed the data collected by the Cassini spacecraft in the process and detected phosphate compounds in the ocean beneath the icy surface of Enceladus. These phosphates are similar to those found in terrestrial life forms, and this groundbreaking find is the first unambiguous detection of phosphorus in an extraterrestrial ocean ever. Now I've already heard some of you sheepishly ask, What is phosphorus, anyway? Good question. Phosphorus is an essential element for the origin and maintenance of life as we know it at least. It plays a crucial role in the structure and function of biomolecules like DNA and RNA. So without phosphorus, your beautiful genes wouldn't make you the awesome person you are. Phosphorus is also a central component of cellular energy transfer and many vital biochemical reactions. So the existence of phosphorus compounds in the ocean of Enceladus is a super important indication of extraterrestrial life. Because if life is structured as we know it from Earth, which of course is not said, then phosphorus must be present. And it gets better. 
because the research team's analyses suggest that the concentration of phosphorus compounds in Enceladus oceans could be at least 100 times higher than in Earth's oceans. And higher phosphorus concentrations increase the likelihood that the building blocks needed for vital biochemical processes are present in sufficient quantities. So in the end, Enceladus is still the better Earth. Co-author of the new study Christopher Klein said, with this discovery, it is now known that Enceladus Ocean meets the most stringent requirement for life. We need to return to Enceladus to see if the habitable ocean is indeed inhabited. And this is also such a sensational find because it was exactly the missing piece of the puzzle. Scientists had previously detected the other important building blocks of life in Enceladus Ocean, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Only phosphate was missing. And of these ingredients of life, that is considered the rarest in the cosmos. Now it is certain that all the ingredients are present in the Enceladus Ocean. For all we know, it's a perfect place for life. Does that mean there is definitely life there? Until we know how life arises from these ingredients, it would be presumptuous to say that. It's a bit like having a recipe for pizza. But the recipe is torn in half, so we know what ingredients to put in, but not how to make it. If you didn't know the concept of pizza and all you had was flour, water, yeast, mozzarella, and salami, would you know how to make it into a pizza? Life without the concept of pizza? What an absolute horror! It's a bit like that with the ingredients of life. Lead author of the study, Professor Postberg said, We found evidence of something that suggests life could form there pretty well. It's simply an indicator of habitability, and a very good and important one. Personally, I think that where the ingredients of life are present, life is usually likely to form. The other alternative would be that life is something absolutely curious, something quasi-impossible, a freak accident of the universe. And that again would mean that the Earth is quite unique in these infinite widths of the universe and I cannot believe that somehow. But write me your opinion, is there life on Enceladus, if the ingredients of life are present? Is that enough for life to form then? Feel free to write me your thoughts in the comments, I'm super excited to hear what you think. By the way, an international research group has found out something else, namely that more than half of my viewers do not subscribe to the channel. But a subscription helps me a lot, it costs you nothing and you don't miss any more space videos. I would be very happy if you all subscribe, thank you very much guys. By the way, this Enceladus discovery probably also means that there should be phosphate on most other icy moons, like Jupiter's moon Europa. Because these icy satellites, they are all quite similar in structure. And I have more good news regarding the search for aliens. Recently, something really exciting happened that increases our chances of discovering aliens by a factor of, and now brace yourselves, 1000. If you want to know everything about this extraterrestrial news, then be sure to click on the video shown and travel with me to the alien planets. It's really very, very exciting. And if you want to support my work and get ready for Christmas, don't forget to stop by the Astro Shop. Otherwise I would say, see you in the next video. Take care guys.